Hello everyone, welcome to Five Levels. Happy New Year to you and to your family. May this year be full of blessings and more achievements and success, and of course, with a better health. Today I have a new video which is going to be about the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro and how to optimize it for your home theater or your sound system. Uh, this video is going to be targeted to get the best uh, playback as far as audio and video, and we'll do all of that right after the intro. Alright guys, we are back and now let's go to the settings menu. And the first thing you'll see is the quick settings where you will be able to put your device on sleep in the first option, which is sleep now. And the second one is going to be a reboot, which is restarting your device. And the third one is something you might want to see where I will discuss what I have changed here, which is the AI upscaler, which is actually one of my favorite things in the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, the 2019 model. And for the first option, I have chosen AI Enhanced. I loved how the AI technology enhances the image quality in the movie playback. And the next one is the Detail Enhancement. And I have chosen High here because it, I like how uh, it increases the sharpness in the movie. I'm the kind of people who likes uh, some sort of sharpness in the movies. Not extreme sharpness, but uh, it, it's a nice sharpness that can be watched on movies. And the next one is Enabled, which is the Apply Upscaling While Streaming. And this is something you want to enable in case you want to demo the before and after of the image uh, between the normal viewing and the AI upscaling mode. And the next one that we want to go to is the device preferences. I'm not going to go through the network and internet because I'm sure you can just plug in an ethernet cable. As you can see, I have uh, plugged in an ethernet cable but, and you can also use the wireless connection for, for connecting to your Wi-Fi. So let's go to the device pre preferences and then the display and sound because as I mentioned in the beginning this video is going to be focused toward people who want to optimize their playback uh, in the case scenarios where they have home theaters and audio systems like a soundbar or a 5.1 home theater or a Dolby Atmos home theater which is which could be in many different numbers. So let's begin with the first one here which is the resolution. In my case I have chosen the 4K with 59 0.9 Hertz and Dolby Vision and HDR10 ready. This is the best option that you can choose from the resolution if you have a 4K TV that supports Dolby Vision and HDR10. The next one is going to be enabling Dolby Vision here, which you can see it is enabled. And AI upscaling is something we already went through, so we'll go to the other one next. And in here I have turned off many of the settings here because it is a personal preference. And the next one is the advanced display settings. And as you can see, uh, I have left things to default and I didn't do any changes here. And next, this is disabled. And I have actually enabled HDMI CEC for my volume control because when you enable CEC, you can control the volume using any of the remotes, which is the AVR remote or your soundbar remote. And you can also control the volume using your TV remote. So these are the settings that I have enabled, as you can see. And let's move on to the next one. System sounds are enabled. This is when you, where you will click on the NVIDIA Shield remote. If you click on any button, you're going to hear some system sounds. And now this is one of the most important things, which is the advanced sound settings for people who have home theaters and sound systems. As far as the audio output, you're going to put this on auto. And then next, you're going to go to the uh, audio video sync. This is something I left as default because you don't want to mess around with this option. And then you have uh, the USB audio mode. I have kept that at high quality stereo. And next we have the match content audio resolution. You want to keep that on Disabled, also disabled. Uh, this one is enabled uh, by default. And what else do we have? Yeah, this option, which is the available formats. And here you want to go to the second option to enable manual uh, selection of the formats. After you choose the manual selection, you want to go here and enable all the audio formats that you would like to uh, listen to and play th using your movies because this includes almost all the v audio formats that comes out with movies either from uh, streaming services like Netflix, Apple TV and all. Uh, so the streaming services usually have Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital.
Digital Plus. And this is something you want to make sure that you enable. They also have Dolby Atmos with Dolby Digital Plus, which is all uh, and all the these formats that I have mentioned are low C formats. And you want to also make sure that you enable the DTS, DTS HD and Dolby True HD, because these things are formats you're going to use when you use Kodi or Plex. If you have some movie reps like uh, 1080p uh, movie reps or 4K UHD discs, you want to make sure that you have these things enabled so that you get the lossless audio. And uh, the good thing about the uh, NVIDIA Shield is that it has the HDMI, HDMI functionalities to pass through lossless audio. And that's about it for the system settings of the sounds. And here I have enabled the HDMI CAC again. And I would say that's about it as far as optimizing your uh, video and audio settings for the best movie playback on the nvidia shield and if you're interested in me covering all the other settings of the nvidia shield please leave that in the comment and we have reached the end of this video and till next time stay safe and happy new year